Hey Scrappers, welcome to another video. Uh, as, as stated, we shall be taking apart this sewing machine. Now depending on where you live in the world and on pronunciation, you can call this either a Nichi or a Nikki. It's up to you. And thank you to all of the subscribers who have subscribed to my channel so far. I really do appreciate it. I was quite impressed when I had a look at it the other night and I saw that I was up to uh, 33 I believe at last last visual check. Thank you guys so much. Alright so let's get into this. Remove this little, little eclip. Then we can pull this spring out. You know, you can tell it's a precision piece of equipment when there's a lot of niggly bits, screws, and whatnot that you would never think as to why they would be there. Screw there. There's your foot lever, which pretty much just raises and lowers your foot. The guide for your, I assume, needle. I don't know if there's any specific name that you'd give to the needle, other than needle. So that's that cover. And this looks to be like a nice piece of... Mixed aluminium. Take that plate off or we'll make it easier. Flat Phillips head.
Right, so here we are, pretty much the internal, the internal workings of it, really. This last little. So these little grub screws, I think there's probably going to be three of them. Why not? There's only two of them, but that one there, I can't seem to get because of the angle. And there's the, the motor, the universal AC-DC motor. And the reason why I say it's universal because <coughs> your armature here, see how just inside there, oh, just going to see inside here. That is where your brushes sit, and this part here is the DC side, and this part here is your AC side. So essentially the two magnetic fields created by the AC and DC cause motor to rotate away from each other. So essentially all DC motors up until the commutator here are AC in nature. 
if it weren't for this constant contact here of these brushes it would still be AC to this point as well. and take off as much of the lead content in the brass as possible and as for this bit because this will probably have to be unwrapped yeah It's the easiest coils I've ever removed from a stator before. I mean, it's not doing anything strenuous or highly. With the vibration is very high, where these coils will slip out, or these will come undone, and the coils will slip out. So, so let's put down there. Take this cover off. Which isn't a whole heck of a lot now. It's pretty much just all the internals, pulleys, and what look like cam cam drive gears, and that bit there. But here looks like a bit of a camshaft.
Enjoy joy. More hex key. Allen keys, I should say. What size is that? Number six. There should be nothing holding that piece on. And that should slide out, but it does not want to. Put that in there, lock that out. And now will it slide out? Yes, but as you see, I wonder if we take this base plate off. Will it give us the the room we require to be able to feed that shaft. Right, here's hoping. Nope, still not enough room. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we push that through now? Put it back, put it up. Oh yeah. So essentially all that is left is just this drive shaft that's in here really. Which seems to be attached to this whole <clears throat> whole piece here. And I am running out of ideas to try and get this screw out simply because it's either left handed a thread, but I highly doubt that. Wow, it's a left handed thread. Sorry, it's a right handed thread. Left handed thread, right handed thread.
unfortunately, I don't have a lever short enough. Oh, there we go. Let's use a screwdriver. Then the next issue, guys, is this whole circular, um, this whole bit here. I don't have the tool the Allen key did this morning to get into that hole. Don't have a punch this morning to knock that through because this might be knock us. Awesome, I didn't even damage my screwdriver. So you can see why I kind of gasped like I did. See how this cam is offset? This lobe isn't quite the same. It's not centered, so therefore when it rotates, it'll have a higher point than this one. So I thought that this won't fit through here, but seeing as I've managed to knock it through, I can guide the shaft through. Well, maybe I can't even do that. Right, so, over that. Oh, there we go. It's down and out. And just chuck that in the shred pile. Took that back this way. Get everything useful pull out of it. And now, there's a cable, a double cable there, we'll pull that through, and pull it out. Now, that's this whole little shaft will slide out without being too much trouble. That's off, but that's not really what we want to, to happen. There we go. Alright, has it opened up any more room that we could use, perhaps? Hopefully I haven't just figured it too much. Just slide right off there. Push it down and pull it through. There we go. Now there's 
have that part done except for that bit of steel down there that yeah I don't know will come out nope so other than that the only thing remaining in this screw head here see if we can pop this out bit of steel even though it's only cheap alloy it's still better than nothing you know right and pull, push that pin out, there we go. Break this cap off here and then the whole thing will pop out. Right, anything else? So the only other thing is that little bit there that I can't remove. There, and then this whole piece here, which seems to be a whole unit. So what I will have to do is cut down the centre here and push it back up that way and this way. So stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So here's my first attempt. I'm trying to remove the shaft out of the body of the sewing machine. Welcome back everyone, so I chopped everything in half and now I'm just about to see if it will work by knocking that through let's hope this works And there we go everyone, nice, cheap piece of, right and the other one that I did was this bit here, cut a valley into it, I have realised that's not deep enough, got to cut into the next, put those ones out of the way hopefully, or I'll waste you.
force it up and out of the way. So there's that bit. Now the other parts. Where is that sharp punch? And there we go. There's a nice bit of, well, except for this bit of steel here, but other than that, it's a nice finished piece of cheap aluminium. To try and knock that sleeve out because there's a sleeve in here as well. There's just this bit of sleeve here too. for me please let it before just need to knock that little pin out so just hold this bit there we go that pins out so this should there we go come off nicely and that one will pick out nicely as well that slide straight out of there no, that didn't get any of that oh well Right, now what we do, put that back over there, and booyah, for sure. Now, can you hold this, please? Flip it back over. Right, this set is working. Right, flip it back in. Right guys, as you can see it's all done. I'm not really worried about that bit of aluminium there. So that's all shred. And you know, apart from the bit of steel in there, this is a nice piece of cheap aluminium. Clean it up just a little bit more. Take the plastic off. And as you saw I used this that ran along the bottom here. Rather than around this way. So I took all the other bits and pieces off it and use this as a punch to punch that sleeve out. And it worked no problem. So just remove this little bit here. Screwdriver. And we're done. Well, that's certainly interesting for me. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me take this to pieces and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.